Hi. Hello there. How are you? This is Jevex, and welcome back to Rouge. So where we last left off, we made it slightly part, part of the way through this dungeon, right over here. Um, but since then, I came back and did some off-camera work, as you can probably see. So what I did is I just did what my, my usual routine for a map and just set up a base right next to the monument. And so yeah, it's nothing... It's nothing too special. I just tried to link up the pathways so that if I could go down this ladder, so that I can just walk straight out to um, both of the sections on either side of this room, and just just some basics, just some basics, organizing all of the blocks, weapons, special items, food, the usual. Just put up a little map to check on progress, and that's that's really it. Oh, and I guess I, I made a I also made a way down to visit that guy in the little, in his little cave down there. I don't actually know how much we're going to be using him. I think I've traded with him once. I mean, I've only gotten one emerald thus far, so we'll see. We'll see. Maybe maybe I'll need more arrows, but he ah. I mean, we can go back. We can go back and check his trades, but uh, I thought you couldn't walk. Oh my gosh, you can walk. Ha! Huh. What do you know? Well, so, yeah, what do you what do you provide? Cookies? Yeah, cookies, soul torches, and arrows. So as you can see, I'm doing okay on arrows, and I mean, I guess I could do with more food, but I I have more I have more in storage, so it's not, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. And torches really aren't much of a concern either at this point, so. So yeah, I don't know. It's... I'd like to use the custom trades, but hopefully, hopefully there are some better ones in the future. Because I feel like we've already we've already progressed past the point where he's going to be particularly useful. So yeah, I guess let's pick up where we left off in this dungeon over here, and eh, might as well just explore this area right up towards the front. So I'm pretty sure I've been through here. Yes, yes I have. Kind of, it seems. You know, I completely forgot there were smokers in here. I don't... I haven't needed them, but I should keep that in mind. So, what do we have? What do we have? Oh, that's a loot chest. What's the... What's going on? What's going on here? Okay. Oh, and I guess something else to talk about is... The record, the record, the magnetic thingy. Yeah. So apparently there was just a bug where the the record was missing a data tag. Uh, yeah, that that allowed it to work. So so I talked to Godzilla and he 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 told me what tag I needed to add it. So I just went ahead and did that. So now you can see if we drop if we drop a cookie on the ground, then it pops right back into our inventory. Very nice. Very handy. Super, super happy with that. It's quite cool. If a little bit disorienting, I guess. I, I didn't notice the block pack pop back into my inventory. So yeah. Ooh. Golden pick. Curse of vanishing. So, I mean, just don't die. That's easy enough. There's... We don't die here. Um. Hmm. 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 Yeah, so this is where we were. This is where the traps were. This is where I got wood from last time. And I guess let's head this direction. Glad I made an axe. What? What am I? Oh, these are stripped logs. That's an unlit campfire. Now that I think about it, there really isn't much of a reason to to light up the map, is there? Because as far as I can tell, natural natural mob spawns are turned off. So yeah, I don't think there's there's much of a reason to just light up rooms. More special stuff, crossbow projectile. So I get huh. I don't actually know how good this is. Oh, an emerald. That's that's nice. I was just talking about how I'm like not going to use it, but I'll 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 take an emerald. I I'll buy I'll buy arrows. I'm not going to complain about just getting 
arrows. That's that's basically just twelve arrows with another step. Sorry, silverfish. I don't think there were any silver blocks. Like we confirmed that last time, right? So yeah, this shouldn't be an issue. Also, that's right. These guys can spawn even even in high light levels, as far as I'm aware. So these guys get breaking. Breaking. Yeah. So breaking is apparently a word. Mm. Mm hmm. I'm just real good with words. Very good. What is this? Oh, hi there, skeleton. I'm just gonna. Ah, that that is one thing that I that kills me about skeletons. I'm the only one who's allowed to peek around corners and shoot people. You're not allowed to do that. You're just a mob. Just just don't don't give me don't give me troubles. That's you're not allowed to do that. So okay, we found. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, I'm glad that was set off previously. Those were those were creeper spawners that were set off by the piglin, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's not a big deal. I guess the next place to go There's there's an objective in this direction, so might as well might as well open up the door that heads this way. Oh, I like this. This looks very cool. You know, I put a torch down. Can you... You can't set spiders to be hostile. I guess I just didn't torch up the place fast enough, right? Ah, oh, no. I... I'm getting gold armor. I'm doing it. It's happening. I put it off. Oh, right, so... All of those renovations. I harvested the blackstone from this room. Uh, yeah, this is this is if you if you recall, that's where the blaze spawner was supposed to be. Before I eliminated its entire platform for the sake of pretty building materials, completely worth it. I think I broke like two picks trying to build this place, and the block palette was really hard to work with. Honestly, there wasn't a lot of choices for for materials. As you might be able to tell, so eh, 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 it's 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 whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, uh, I can't actually make golden gear, can I? I only have three gold ingots. That's unfortunate. I was really convinced that I had more than that. Huh. 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 What to do? Well, it makes. That's not how I want to make sticks. I want to make sticks like that. I guess I'll make some more arrows. Might as well, right? There's no harm in having more arrows. As I was saying earlier, more arrows, more better. Yeah, I'm just I'm just completely abandoning any any thoughts of using proper English. Again, very tired. I don't know I don't know why I don't just record in the morning. It's it's probably best to do that. I'm way more attentive then, and I haven't been working for the entire day so it's just a good decision but then you have to wake up early and i mean i'm not really a morning person so i don't know it's fine I'm doing great it's doing just just good very good but anyway yeah just i guess put some of this stuff away while the iron's cooking but I don't really have a use for the iron either. I could make an iron pick. I would. I, I could also make a shield. I could also make a shield. I'm gonna try going through the map without using a shield. I've talked about it with some people on the Discord. Uh, yeah, on the on the Discord server, and really, yeah, other people in the CTM community just agree that shields are really strong, like kind of game-breakingly strong. So, I'm one of those people who thinks that way. <sighs> They're just, they they just block all damage. They're, you're, you're almost invincible. It's kind of absurd. I understand for things like arrows, but, I don't know. Seems seems really just way way too easy to avoid taking damage with them 
I don't know. But who knows, maybe shields are even disabled. I doubt they are, but it's possible. I know I said we were going the other direction, but I figured I might as well check this place. Hey, wait a second. Hey. I recognize this place. But we came out of... No way. Do I have a... I have a texture pack that changes gas textures? Really? Huh. Somehow, somehow I didn't, I didn't know that. Hmm. Weird. Because I use, I, I do actually use a, a uh, data pack from Vanilla Tweaks. And I think it's quite fantastic. F especially for things like shields. Shields take up way too much space in the inventory in my opinion. I mean, you could you could say that it's like a nerf to the shield, but just reduced visibility is really irritating. So I mean, maybe maybe you'd consider it cheating, but it's it really is. I consider it almost a necessity. That and I also have some things to fix particles for rain and all sorts of stuff because. Oh, that's... Oh, you're melee skeletons, though, so you, you don't scare me very much. Oh, what? Cave spider? Where did you spawn from? Where... Where is your spawner? I'm sorry. Oh, he could have spawned down below and crawled up? That's very possible. Which means I should... Shulker. Shulker box. Mmm. I do like I do like me shulker box. Yeah. What was I talking about? I don't know what I was talking about. We can we can move on from that conversation. It, it probably wasn't that important. Yeah, so as for the map, I like I like this area. It feels Colosseum esque. I don't know if that was what the uh, goal was with this zone, but regardless, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Also, was there a staircase to go down? There was. I just missed it the first time. It's fine. Okay, Blaze. Speaking of Blaze, one thing I was going to mention is that I really haven't been giving Godzilla enough credit for the balancing that went into the mobs in this map because I I really have not had any times where I felt like the mobs were unfair. I kind of freaked out about the baby zombie and I freaked out about the blaze and I kind of freaked out about the phantoms but really they're not even that they're not even that rough I'm going to talk about that and what just happened in a sec but the, the mobs really aren't as rough as I think I'm imagining that they will be. Is this another labyrinth? This is another labyrinth, it looks like. Oh, that's a very fast fuse on a creeper. Also, what just happened there with the spider catching on fire? I, I get the impression that the fire aspect on the record somehow activated. I don't, but how, that, that's not how fire aspect generally works, right? You, uh, fire aspect in the offhand doesn't, I was pretty convinced that that didn't actually do anything. But it, I guess it does? Has that always been the case and I just never noticed? No. No. Wow, I'm really going through this pick. I forget that they only have 32 durability. I, I'm i not really in much of a threat right now, so I... I oh. oh, no! You know, I was just saying about the mobs being really fair. 
You know, he did only deal two hearts, but oh, that, that scared me. That really scared me. And another thing, I could have mentioned this earlier in the episode, and if so, I'm very sorry for repeating it, but... I'm sorry for being silent, but I I was pretty convinced I might die there. <sighs> Food's good. Food's good. I want to make a shulker box. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? I really I really got distracted there from dying almost. I oh. Oh, that, that, that startled me. Gosh, what was I saying before? <sighs> oh, right. Um, earlier in this episode, I may have mentioned that, but I think I'm planning on doing 40-minute episodes from now on. I, I just really think my play style is way too slow to make decent progress in just a mere couple like 20 minutes in, in 20 minutes there's not a lot that I managed to accomplish so I think it would be best if I just kind of lengthened the episodes and actually got through perhaps at least a couple areas in in a single session that that would just be fantastic. Where do I keep chess? So yeah, I that's what I'm going with. We're we're doing we're doing longer, much longer episodes, doubling the length, forty minutes. Yes, forty minutes, not twenty. Very good. Do I have worse food I can chomp on? Not really. Yeah. So anyways, that's where I'm at. And inventory sorted. I don't really know if I need to keep the shulker box on me. Uh, I don't know. I might just be sad when I die and lose it, but also I need a new sword. And if I run into a lot of loot, it's going to be uh, quite handy to have. So, yes, might as well do it. Yeah, so let's try and take on... Take on. Try to finish this, this dungeon right in here. I feel like that's possible. In fact, I might have even... I might have even despawned some... Yeah, I did just despawn the guys in there. Hmm. Maybe I should have just faced them when the time came and they spawned. I mean... Because I kind of want to know what they drop. It could be really good. <sighs> yeah... Do I just want to let them spawn again? Hmm. I don't... I don't really want to. But... I want to know what they drop. Ah. Where, where are things that I can destroy, though? You, you. I don't, I don't care about what you drop. You're just a miscellaneous mob. Are you gonna respawn? Now that I think about it, there really isn't a spawner in here, is there? I mean, there's one for the hoglin, but... I think that guy might have been spawned by a command block. 
Godzilla, if you're if you're watching, could you please could you please confirm whether or not that was spawned by commands? I think it was spawned by commands at this point. That's that's very possible. But also, if it if it was a one-time command block spawn, generally I would think you'd put what do you call it? Um what's persistent? Is that is that the enchantment? I think enchantment. I think you can you it's a persistent tag that makes it so that mobs don't despawn because that felt like a guy that really shouldn't have disappeared. Right? I can't be the only one that thinks that. I I know I know he kind of uh, frightens me a little bit, but I was planning on going back to fight him. I didn't want to just cheese the area entirely. This is this feels sketchy. I mean it's probably fine. I really am not under the impression it's trapped. In this version of the game, I don't think you can do falling gravel traps anymore. Yeah, it wasn't. But hey, I, at least I was being cautious, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, no, totally. I, I just took two... Did I take two hearts of fall damage from that? Yeah, it's talking about being cautious. Sure. Anyway. Oh, that's an ender chest. Is this the first one we've run across? I think it is. Might as well just dump some things in here. That I don't think I'm going to use, right? Oh, p perfect timing. I didn't even... It didn't even cross my mind that I just picked up food. That's very nice to have. Bane of Arthur Project 1, Efficiency 3. I'm gonna, yeah, that's definitely gonna be on the bar. De yeah, for sure. So, wow, I guess that's that's this place. Okay, so this is, this is definitely going much, much faster now. Is there anything in, hey, this looks like a thing. What are you? chest. Hey, you look trapped. You are trapped. What do, what do, what do we do? I'm sorry. What? Oh, that is, that is more scary than I was thinking it would be. Hey, Hey, I did check. I did check. Did you, you saw that? Oh boy. This. Oh, what does this do? Oh wow, that is okay. So that at first I thought that it would just drop these two blocks out, so I would have been safe. But no, 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 no. That's that's actually a lot. A lot more horrifying than I thought it would be. Like, where does this go? I mean, maybe this isn't a, a question that's pressing on your mind, but I, I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna see what, what this do. Excuse me. Sponge, and water. You know what? Hey, I can make a bucket. Actually, I, I would love a water bucket. Was this actually a trap? No. This this just looks like a meme. In that case... Yeah. Okay. This... But then... Hold up. But there's a piston there. So what was that piston supposed to do? There is much more investigating that I need to do here. But for a time being, I'm going to collect the redstone. I don't know if we're going to get... Actually, yeah, we might not get access to brewing stands because, I mean... 
the the drops for the skeletons to get bone seems to be removed, so. Good lord, quasi-connectivity is a frightening thing. Because this is clearly not powering that piston. It's clearly not. Sure, a piston, okay. Speaking of which, might as well grab these two. I don't think I'll have a use for them. Really don't. But what do you know? I mean, that could be useful. Alright, next step. Investigating what's under the water. Maybe I should wait until after I get a water bucket, though. Because I really don't... I don't want to lose the water. I don't know if the waters are, like going to disappear. I don't know how that would happen. There's definitely a meme area, though. Okay, so it's... Ooh, wow. That's... That's, that's, that's the type of loot I really enjoy. I love seeing stuff like that. It's... It's... This is definitely a meme. It's it's a meme item for sure. I mean, really, one heart. It's how how are you not gonna take damage? How, how I mean, that's really what this is asking, right? This is asking you not to take damage in exchange for combat buffs. So. It reduced my health to half a heart, and there's a spider, and I'm not hungry. I... I mean, if I'm... I don't want to die, so I, I guess I'm going to be using it. Gosh. This is... <laughs> spider. Fire now. He's passive. He's passive. It's fine. I'm not gonna die. I'm going to make it back to base. I'm going to heal up to full health. And things will be great. I'm going to craft myself an iron bucket. So yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. In fact, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back. I'm going to get the the stuff and meet back up with you. Who knows? If I die, you'll see this whole thing. Alright, so we made it back here. I got myself a bucket of water, and so now I'm going to check out what happens to be underneath here. And you know what? I still want water here, so I can create an infinite source, but... Let me let me play out how this would have gone if it was a trap. I just want to make sure I still have an infinite source because if I recall correctly how sponges work, you would land in the water and then immediately after all of it would get dried up by a sponge so you don't get your bucket of water. Absolutely. Okay, so I didn't have a bucket of water on me if somehow this miraculously dried up. I would have been really sad. But hey, you know, figured it out. I, this, you know, this is great. This is a trap that won't kill the player, but it's a reward if, if you manage to defuse it. I like that. I think that's a pretty cool mechanic. Very well done. Yep. And also, um, while I was at the base, I decided to get a map because I was pretty sure that we were getting really close to one of the objectives, and I just wanted to make sure, and sure enough, we are very close to getting one. Unfortunately, there's only like 10 minutes left in the video, so it's probably going to be something we do at the very start of the next one. But I mean, while we're here, we might as well figure out what's what it's looking like over there and I was here the staircase was here and I ran all the way it's 
Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I... I do that. Oh wait, is that the spawner up there that's supposed to spawn the boss guy? I don't know. Maybe it is. Uh, I'll probably go back and check that maybe after this video's over. I don't know. Oh right, it's Labyrinth. It's Labyrinth and you're a creeper. So... Guardians. Really? That's an interesting design for an area. Now then, is this TNT primed? Oh, fire charge. Cool. I don't like having that around. Are you primed? Unstable false. Fantastic. You know, I didn't actually check both of those. I only checked one, didn't I? Not to blow up does not blow up. Come to me. And does not blow up. I mean, I'm probably not going to use it. Probably. But who knows? It's never bad to have explosives. Oh, right, the, if I would have just jumped, they would have just teleported to me. That's, that's what my whole offhand item does. You know, the one that I sacrificed a shield for, that one? Yeah, you'd think I'd remember what it does, but no, I don't. Um, <laughs> anyways, so yeah, kind of annoys me I didn't put that back right. In fact, it annoys me so much, I'm probably just going to fix it. Yep, very unnecessary, no need to do that whatsoever. Now, here's going to be a question, because I have a suspicion that these blazes are not going to be the one-shot kills that they were before. They are! That, I find that very surprising. I would have figured that they would have been buffed since this was a later area. I mean, it, it generated... One, two, three, four, four areas later? So, I would have expected that the the difficulty would have ramped up, and that that would have actually been something something more challenging than it was in... Oh, in the second area that was created, yeah. But, but still, I don't know. Maybe the mobs are the same throughout the map, and it's just some of the, some of the zones that change. Like the, the Guardians. The Guardians are definitely different. This is different. Or I just missed it the first time. It's possible I missed it the first time. I mean... Wow, he deals damage. Okay. That is one thing. I had I had F3 out for way too long. Oh. Also, something something that I learned at the monument was that there was a banner there, and when you right-click it, then you just get you just get a thing popping up. And I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the, the subtitles. They're they're not necessary right now. So I kind of want to protect you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put your fence back because because of people like like him. I don't yeah. Yes. Come to me, experience. So, what do you offer to me? Oh. Okay, here. Oh. Ooh, this. Now, this is. This is. This is very cool. I mean, I do personally believe that some of these trades could be better. But at the same time, maybe I shouldn't be complaining because I really don't have any complaints about the, the loot balance so far. So it's probably not necessary to actually make the trades any stronger. It I don't know. I feel kind of I feel kind of conflicted there, because I, I would like to, to see some better trades, personally, but I don't wanna deal with the guardians. I really don't, but you know what? I probably won't have any issues. I'm 
So far, things have been pretty well balanced. So let's just trust Mr. Mapmaker to know. Wait a second, I have sponge. Did I put away my sponge? I did put away my sponge. You know what? This calls for sponge. This calls for sponge, definitely. So I guess I'm going to do another another cut, the second one in this video, because I, I mean, I don't want to just end the video here. It's I I want to actually defeat one of these areas. So. There we go. Alright, and we're back. Again. So, I decided I think I want to take out this area first. Because... Oh yeah. That did, that did not do as much as I thought it would do. So, what about if I did something like... That. Does that... Eh. Not as fantastic as I, I was expecting. Oh wow, you are also much tankier than I expected. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I kind of wish that that had worked better. I mean, I could, I could. To be fair, it's I was just being stingy with the sponge. I could always just if if you spam sponge everywhere, then it's just. Water? What water? I don't see any water here. I just didn't want to have to dry out that many patches to make them usable again, but you know what? I forgot, like, how big the the area of effect for Sponge was, so I, I really shouldn't have been that stingy. I also should have opened that chest while I could still swim up to it, but you know what? I didn't. So... Yeah, that's... Where, where was it? Okay, it's just one. Yes, torches. <laughs> Mysterious stew. Ah, uh, or suspicious stew. Same thing. I still have not tested out the crossbow. There are many things I've been meaning to do that I have not done. But, you know. Yeah. Hey, would you look at that? That's a tripwire. I'm sorry, I could have sworn I defused you, and then you... What? You guys saw that, right? It came back. It never activated, though. I think that's a bug with the game, right? Pretty sure. Wait, did we take out blaze here I guess we spawned them at some point but yeah really the goal for this episode is just I want to finish taking out this this room here in the dungeon and then I think that's going to be a good enough amount of progress to call it for today now something that I was thinking while I was uh, what, was, what was I doing Oh, while I was getting sponge, one thing that I did think of while I was getting the sponge was how how is it that these buildings places are generating, right? Because they're supposed to be procedurally gen generated, so I mean I presume that they're actually procedurally generated, or procedurally random randomly generated. They're randomly generated. Wow. I mean, you're not... <laughs> these guys really aren't much of a threat. I wish that I could see their lasers better, though. I mean, shoot! They're gonna kill me just from the... Just from the... The, the darn thorns! Gosh, Thorns is such a annoying mechanic. I'm glad this is the only mob with it built in. Oh, wow, yeah. I guess it's to avoid you trying to do exactly what I did and just dry up all the water in the room. Or, in, I guess, in the sea temple and fighting them on land. 
You can still spawn. I thought you had to spawn in the water. But yeah, look, it's not not that challenging of a mod. Really, the only reason I'm taking damage is from this their stupid horns effect. So you get you get you get the axe. Yeah, not too bad. I uh, really wasn't at risk of dying there. The it's just the guardians as like as they are just they're they're something. I don't know. I don't really fight guardians too often. So, eh. For a second, I thought that the chest didn't generate in here. Okay, bread. Another wire snapper. Cool. And so this should be it. This is this is what I was hoping to do this episode. I wanted to get to this room because that that is a wool. Now I really don't know what to expect, but I'm very intrigued. Okay. Okay. So I don't know how close I can get before I set off spawners. I'm getting the water on the bar. You know what? I Oh, I actually have gold armor on. So you're not hostile. Ooh, he's he switches he switches modes. He does the mode switching. I love mods with that mechanic. I think it's a fantastic idea. Should I keep them around for bartering purposes? Now is the question. I really didn't think about it earlier, but that's probably not unreasonable, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm sure that this is probably considered cheese. I'm sure that this is probably. Well, I know that's not the gra the greatest way of saying it. Hey, hey, I'm talking, I'm talking. I don't have my weapon equipped. No, no, I took way too much damage from you. I should have had a sword on the bar. Stay back. Oh wow, you have more health than I expected. So, yeah, I don't know. You know what? Let's. This is actually a good stopping point because that that seems like a, a big enough space that I'm going to want to take it on in its actual episode. I don't want to have to rush it. That's just not. That's just not how I how I play the game. I'm really I'm really bad at rushing areas. So, you know what? I think I'm going to call it here for today. Progress was actually made for once. So yeah, I, that's hey, hey, I did a thing. So it seems like the 40-minute episodes are the way to go, and I think we'll be seeing more of those in the future. Um, so yeah, I guess let me know if you like longer episodes. I I'm definitely leaning towards them right now. But it's always nice, to especially if you've made it this far. I, I actually, I mean, it's probably biased by saying it this far in because you watch, you watch until now, right? Yeah. But it's whatever. We'll we'll see. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video though, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day and goodbye.